All right, so this is the beginning of video number four. If we turn this upside down, we can see that we have a completed loop all the way around, and it's shaped exactly the way it should be. If we reorient this the same way it is in the dimensions, we have all the features that we need to extrude this. So, time to extrude. I'm going to angle this by using the navigation cube. It's a good idea to, uh, to angle to make sure that you're extruding in the right direction. We're going to choose extrude and we of course wants us to choose a profile that's why the arrow is red and it's selected. Uh, currently it's set at one inch we'll take care of that in just a minute and of course it doesn't know where we want to extrude here or here and but this is the spot so you see the portion that's red that's what we're going to extrude and we click on that and boom, it's the proper selection but not the proper direction you know it's the gold arrow here is showing us what direction it's moving and the distance so we could change the direction and that's very nice but that does not go far enough it's not reaching all the way to the top surface if we angle this we can see that it only goes that far and not to our curve all the way up to the surface up here. It's kind of hovering in space there still. Now we could change this to three inches. How about that? Oh my gosh, that doesn't look good, does it? That is not what we want. And that's because changing the distance with uh, measurements of uh, so many inches, two inches, one inch, 1.5 inch, whatever, isn't what we want. We need this flat surface here to match the interior surface of our windshield. So instead of measuring it with distance, we're going to say we want it to next. So that way it's going to extrude all the way to the next surface. So we choose to next. Oh, that's very much different, isn't it? And as we look underneath here, we can see that it goes all the way right here zoom in you can see that it extrudes all the way to the top interior portion of our windshield that looks very much better so we choose OK and that looks great now we've got to tidy up a few things one is this work plane the work plane was very important very crucial it helped us draw exactly where we wanted to draw but it's not needed anymore now we don't want to delete it because it still is an important part of this sketch. We just don't want to see it. So we right click and instead of choosing delete, we choose the visibility. You can see it's checked, meaning you can see it, it's visible. We want to turn that off. So by turning off visibility, look at that, the work plane's gone. Awesome. Now I could go back to the home view, but we still have one more thing to do. Just like we shelled the interior of the windshield, we need to shell the interior of this space. Again, we need room for the heads and shoulders and bodies of our passengers. And uh, if we left it like this, they would be squashed. And um, that'd be no good. So we're going to choose up here next to filet we're going to choose shell. All right. So we choose shell and like last time it's saying hey what face do you want to remove and what's the thickness of that shell going to be. And it's still at 0 .07, 0 0.07 from our last shelling. We're going to change that to 0.05 in just a moment. But first we're selected on shell and it shows what direction it's going to shell. It's measuring from the outside in. So that's good. And we're going to choose this bottom right there and it's shelled it to 0 0.07 but uh, 0 0.07 is not the correct dimension we want 0 0.05 how do I know that well we can go back to our sketch and right here it shows us 0 0.05 is the thickness of this piece right here not the 0 0.07 of the outside windshield which is demonstrated right there. So 0.05 is the correct dimension everything looks great, it's shelled, it's the right 
uh, section. Um, oftentimes students will show me a part and they say it won't shell, it won't shell. And it's because they changed the dimension first and clicked OK but never told it what face to remove. If you did that, if it won't shell and you look over here in your browser and you see shell in the browser, right click on it, choose edit feature, and you can go back and make that change. So we'll show you that in a sec. So we click OK and bada bing bada boom, we have a shell. It's hollow inside. So like I said, if we right click, yours won't say shell 4, it'll probably say shell 2. Because like I said before, this is a part that I used in a previous class that I ended and then redid. So we right click on shell and you can see it says edit feature. You can always click on the edit feature and go back and choose that face or make other changes like the dimension. But it's fine. So we're going to click OK. Now, next step. We're going to just change the properties of this. So let's go ahead and click Home. We're going to go up here where it says Generic. And we're going to change that to Polycarbonate Clear. So there's Polycarbonate Clear. It's the generic term for Lexan. So we click on Polycarbonate Clear. And now our entire piece is Polycarbonate Clear. We're going to go up here between our two color wheels. And we're going to choose Clear Green. So Clear Green 1. Choose that. And voila. We now have a clear polycarbonate completed windshield and all the features that go with it. So that concludes part four and it also includes the entire four-part series showing all the steps necessary for completing your windshield assignment. Thank you.